across the margins are flat too because this time the street was expecting an improvement of close to 80 basis point but that doesn't seem to happening and the net profit as well a miss there 2519 crores is what the company has reported we are getting to understand that the underlying volume is at around 2% uh, other than that the expectation was actually of 2 to 3% so a marginal miss on that front as well I believe uh, but let's get a more sense on the actual earnings and how the analysts picking up what are their first cut coming in on the numbers and with this uh, let me welcome Abneesh Roy executive director at Nivama Institutional Equities Abneesh hi very good afternoon and thank you so much for your time what are your first analysis on HUL because the company has been uh, giving the commentary on the slowdown in the rural but the urban has been uh, holding up but this time the volumes is a bit of a disappointment coming in versus our expectation what's your first analysis so yes, uh, slightly uh, weaker than the street expectation versus ours, it's a bit closer. So there is a miss of 1 or 2 percent on most of the line items. So yeah, it, the expectations anyway were muted and against that, it's a bit lower. In terms of volume growth of 2 percent, we had already highlighted that uh, there is a rural slowdown and uh, the growth is essentially coming from urban. There is a local player issue in uh, lower end detergent and uh, tea, etc., which is also impacting all the national players. So that's on the volume front. In terms of pricing, if you see clearly, it is negative this quarter. So uh, that is happening because in detergent and soaps, a lot of uh, uh, prices were passed on to customer because the gross margins had expanded by the entire industry. And that's a very normal thing in FMCG. When there is a sharp gross margin expansion, companies uh, pass on partially uh, to the customer. In terms of margins, also there is a miss this quarter. Broadly, the street and we were working with a 24% kind of EBITDA margin. Uh, but two things have uh, impacted. Clearly, lack of operating leverage because revenue is also 2% lower than the street. So that's also impacting. Plus, uh, what had happened was uh, when the Israel Hamas crisis happened, the crude oil had gone up in the initial part of the quarter and there is almost one to two month of lag effect. So that's why in Q3, uh, momentarily, the margins have come down. We expect that in Q4, the margin recovery should again be there because, again, cool, uh, crude has cooled off. So these are the three, four key things, rural slowdown, pricing being negative because soap, detergent, and a lot of those saw price cuts, and uh, uh, the crude had gone up initially in the quarter. So those are the three issues. Uh, thank you so much, Avneesh, for highlighting all the factors that could have been at play for the Q3 earnings. But Avneesh, another concern throughout the quarter that we have been discussing and reporting as well, that the company was having some troubles regarding their distribution, especially in the state of Maharashtra, though it was not a nationwide uh, disturbance there. But is that something that you will be watching out for when it comes to the management commentary? Uh, do you require any more clarity on those fronts? So that is quite routine. Uh, if you see FMCG companies and uh, the Kirana, this issue is nothing new. This keeps happening. If you see the broader theme is that the Kirana uh, uh, distribution is losing market share definitely to e-commerce, modern trade, quick commerce. So that's a theme which is going to help FMCG company longer term. In terms of diversifying their uh, risk and not uh, just uh, get exposed to Kirana, Second, of course, is there is a volume slowdown and companies will look at uh, incentivizing higher focus on volume growth and that you can do by incentivizing uh, in terms of productivity. Uh, the distribution cost has to be linked to the productivity and based on that only the better performing distributors should be paid. That's very routine in any kind of a uh, professional transaction. So I will say this is nothing new and this keeps happening. The real important thing is what's happening in the rural slowdown. So that I think in Q4 also mostly rural slowdown continues. In Q3, winter demand was also weak. If you remember all uh, the companies saw because of late winter, the, the skin cream and all that did suffer for HUL also. So those are the issues which impacted Q3. So my main question will be on the demand side rather than on the distributor. That's a routine thing. I will not be too worried on that point taken but um, let me uh, get a larger sense on the FMCG segment then because Nifty FMCG has been underperforming for quite some time in HUL because it is such a big player in the FMCG segment and with results that are sub subdued like this uh, what kind of impact are you seeing on the overall FMCG space with these numbers as well? 
So we will wait for the other results. This is the Hindustan Unilever results. We continue to prefer Nestle, Tata Consumer, Goodrich Consumers kind of companies. We also like uh, ITC. So yes, uh, definitely uh, this is the initial part of the FMCG results. Uh, we had seen Asian paints also come out. So that did much better in terms of the volume growth. So ultimately, uh, there will be uh, players which will do much better in Q3 also. So Nestle, Tata Consumer, etc. as I highlighted. Uh, but uh, most other companies will see the rural slowdown and that's being clearly seen in actual uh, results also. So there could be some profit booking in uh, some of the names, but definitely from a Q4 perspective and FI25 perspective, things will improve. Uh, also, what's happening on the FII inflow that also matters, right? Uh, so we do expect FI inflow to pick up. Last few days, there is a sell-off, uh, but uh, those things can, can definitely change. So we are expecting volume recovery, pricing recovery for HUL in FY25. And as I said, in Q4, the margins will be better. So stocks don't react just based on uh, the specific quarter. Yes, on Monday, there could be some reaction based on the broader market and the slight miss which HUL has uh, uh, seen. But if you see, HUL stock last one year, the anyway, the stock has gone nowhere. So to that extent, I don't expect a very sharp reaction. Uh, because uh, the the miss is slight only, plus the stock hasn't done well anyway. So a lot of that is already factored in. Right, Abnish, with this, we let you go on that. And thank you for joining us today with the first cut analysis on HUL. So that was the earnings of HUL, uh, where this time it has been a miss, especially on the back of a lower volume growth led by the rural demand as well as the higher crude prices. But going ahead, lower crude prices are expected to uh, give some boost to the margin figure.